Hi, I'm Sue Daywalt, and I'm speaking to you tonight on behalf of the North Penn High School Home and School Correlate Team. Our focus is to provide opportunities for our families to become engaged in their students' learning. All the educational research supports the idea that the more engaged families are in their students' learning, the greater the student's academic achievement will be. And being engaged means that you're actively taking part in or participating in what your students are doing academically. And that engagement will look different at the high school level than it did at the middle or elementary school level. For example, tonight I'm here to better acquaint you with Home Access Center because your regular use of Home Access Center is one way that you can become more actively involved with what your student is doing here at North Penn High School. By using the academic and attendance information available to you on Home Access Center, you can change the conversations you have with your student at home. So that instead of asking, what did you do in school today, and hearing nothing as a reply, you'll be able to ask more specific questions that will lead to more meaningful conversations about your students' school experiences. And tonight I'm here to walk you through the log on process and to show you some of the really helpful and relevant information that is now available to you through Home Access Center anytime you want to see it. And you begin by entering home.npen.org from Internet Explorer, Netscape, or any Internet browser. And this is going to take you to the Home Access Center login page. Here you'll type in your username and password. And um, this year, to make it easier for families, you're only going to need one logon and password to see all the students in your family. So if you have multiple students listed, you check the one you want to view from the list, and you'll be taken to the registration page. So you can see we've got two demo students set up here. For those of you who remember the Munsters from the 60s, um, we have Herman and Eddie, and we're going to work with Herman Munster today as our test student. Um, this is going to take you right to the registration screen, as I mentioned. Um, and you should take a moment when you get to this screen to double check that all the registration information is correct. If you do see any mistakes here, you're going to want to contact your student's home office and the home office information is right here for you. Also, if you need to contact the counselor, that name is listed here and all you need to do is click on the counselor's name to be able to send off an email right away. Uh, we've also got some personal information, some emergency information, and even the bus information available for you on the registration screen. And of course, the contact information down at the bottom. So that's an important screen for you to check. Um, and remember that as, as the, any of this pertinent information changes throughout the year, it's the home office who you need to contact. From here, we're going to go to the daily summary page. And um, this will have for you some attendance information for the day but it would tell you whether the student was present or absent, um, as well as today's schedule. And again, if you click on any of this information, it'll take you to a more detailed uh, look. For example, here you can see what your student's homeroom is, um, who the homeroom teacher is, uh, and so forth. From this daily summary page, you should also be able to view classwork for the week. Um, there's nothing loaded in here, but this would show you any grade information or assignments that teachers have already loaded into the grading program just for this week. So it would give you um, a week at a glance. Um, we hope that you'll like the fact that this year Home Access Center has multiple email contact points built in for your quick use. Um, on the registration page, which we've already looked at, you did have uh, home office information as well as counselor information. Um, and on the uh, daily summary page, you have, again, quick, quick contact information for your uh, student's homeroom teacher, as well as any other listed subject area teachers, which you can see over here in this section. If we were to click on that, it would just take you right to an email screen so that you could shoot off an email quickly if you had a question. Obviously, you can use the quick email links to share questions or concerns with the teachers and contacting the home office is always the preferred method of reaching your student during the school day if that becomes necessary. Because of our school cell phone policy, you want to avoid cell phone calls or text messages to students during the school day. And rest assured that the home office has all the information they need to reach your student as soon as possible, and they will do that for you if it becomes necessary. Okay, so from here we're going to go to the classwork feature because this is new for Home Access Center this year and the enhancements here provide the information you need for some of those specific conversations that I had mentioned to you earlier. 
For example, um, if you click on any individual assignment and, and under this class word section, your student's schedule will be broken out by class and then for each class you'll see individual assignments. Um, and if you do click on the assignment, you can get um, a more detailed look at exactly what the assignment entails. Um, so clicking on this second thing, you can see that this was a quiz, it was worth 100 points, and it was on the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Now from there, you can see what your uh, st student's score was, as well as what the total points were. All you have to do is move your cursor over it. Herman had an extended illness and couldn't complete this work. Um, here's another with a score attached. As requested, he received extra time for this assignment. So again, this is a way for teachers to personalize some information about your student and the only person who would be able to see this would be you, um, you know, accessing this information from Home Access Center at home. So instead of just asking, how's English class going, you know, you can ask your, your child, how did you do on that quiz on Edgar Allan Poe? Um, how was the homework essay that you had due um, on September 3rd? And you can become uh, a lot more involved with exactly what they're doing. Okay, when teachers enter grades into Home Access Center, we have to classify the assignments by category. And on the classwork page, under each assignment, under each subject rather, after listing the individual assignments, you now get a great summary done by category, which allows you to see where your student is excelling. But you'll also be able to identify which work habits need improvement. Uh, for example, from the summary of the English scores from Herman, our demo student, we can see that for classwork, he's at a 70%. For homework, he's doing better at 100%. But the impact of the zero on that quiz has clearly pulled his average way, way down. Um, and and you know, that becomes very apparent. The same information as I scroll down the page is repeated for each of the student's major subject areas with individual assignments and then the category breakdown. So by using the category breakdowns, um, you can again really have um, a more specific conversation about strengths and weaknesses, areas where you're doing well, areas where you're going to want to put more effort. Okay, right now there is no information available on the report card page, um, but just know that this Friday, October 3rd, interims are being issued, that is tomorrow, and interim grade information will be available at that time. And I'm going to exit out of Home Access Center at this point. Uh, again, what we hope you're taking away from this demo is the realization that Home Access Center is providing you some relevant and specific information that's going to enable you to stay involved with what your child is doing academically and provide you multiple ways with getting in contact with teachers, counselors, home office personnel whenever you need to. And it really is uh, very user friendly. So we just click exit. One other thing I wanted to let you know this evening, we do have a representative from the District Technology Office available all evening, and she is in Computer Lab K26, which is just down the hall from the main entrance reception desk. She'll be with us all evening, so if you'd like her to walk you through the logon process one-on-one, -on -one, or have any further questions, she'll do her best to answer any of those questions. Please feel free to drop by room K26 at some point tonight uh, if you'd like to take advantage of that, and I'll be with her in that uh, computer lab as well. If you do forget your password or have any other questions about Home Access Center after this evening, you can always get help through homeaccess at npen.org. I hope that this demo has provided you with some useful information, and more importantly, I hope that it got you thinking about how you can become more actively involved in your child's academics. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your evening.